So this patient is coming in for assessment of a lesion that's been growing over the course of the last couple of months, developed relatively quickly. Um, so we're going to be doing like almost like a shave biopsy and sort of see this has characteristics where we're worried about squamous cell cancers and basal cell cancers, irritation along the margins. It doesn't so much look like melanoma, uh, but we've got to make sure we take this off and then get that to be treated for you. So um, we're going to freeze this up for you. That's going to burn a bit. Mm. Okay, avec cela? Yeah. Oh, oui. Okay. Ça va piquer un petit peu, il brûle un petit peu. Attention ici. Mais ça pique, ça brûle. T'es OK? Mm. Mais ça chauffe. So this stuff does, this is definitely mm. something uncomfortable. So we just have to make sure that that's well frozen. C'est presque fini. So what I want to see is that it's swelling all along the margin. Ça fait mal quand je fais ça? Non. Pas oh, vraiment. Ok. <laughs> so, you do want to make sure you have good anesthesia here, because we're going to have to be scraping this a little bit. Juste la pression là, ça fait pas mal? Non. Mm. It's a bit irritated there. It's like a pyogenic granuloma compartment to it. So this looks most if I had to guess again, we'd probably be in that basal cell range. Um, but when it develops quickly like this, there's a number of other things that are part of this. Okay. Yeah. So then we want to cauterize this. We talked before about what normal tissue cauterizes is like and what atypical tissue cauterizes is like. Ça fait pas mal? No. no. You can see how that's emulsifying. That's what I was talking about before. Like that's not like normal tissue does. So when it, when it emulsifies like that, like that's typically when I'm dealing with either precancerous cancerous tissue or viral tissue. So like warts and those type of things will do that as well. So with the electrocautery, you have to make sure it's dry enough for the actual current won't actually conduct. Do you okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm fine. So this whole area that's emulsifying here is going to have to come off. We're going to be scraping that. And hope get down to a point where this is actually cauterizing, just as you expect, where you just see like a dry sheen on top of it, see so, you all know, that that's breaking up there? That's just atypical tissue. So that area up here is cauterizing normally, but this down here is not. Just gonna scrape this a bit.
Det er godt okay. Ja. Papir og morgen. So once I have that normal tissue off, or abnormal tissue, I should say, it should start to cauterize more appropriately. be able to tell that's cauterizing a bit better still not quite right but at least the cautery is somewhat taking so there's some normal tissue that's there this is why again we want to make sure we have decent anesthesia because if, if this this would be obviously quite uncomfortable But we do want to scrape this down as best we can because if we're dealing with basal cell cancers then if we take enough of this tissue off just like almost like a modified Mohs surgery then we may not have to come back and do much else squamous cell cancers in this area would obviously require some additional treatments So there's a balance here in terms of making sure we do the best we can to get as much tissue as possible. Just put pressure on that for me. And not going too, too deep. But you have more room there than you're going to see that's cauterizing more regularly. I don't know if you can appreciate that when you see it, but that's, see how it's scabbing up much quicker? That's what we expect from normal tissue. I'm just going to try to scrape that off one more time and then gently cauterize that and see how they do. And we'll see this in follow-up, but most of these will slowly heal in. Um, so this divot that's here will fill. This area is more of a small capillary that's just become exposed. This scab will all fl flake off for us over the course of the next little bit. And we'll see how that heals up. So we'll see here back in about two weeks time. We'll send that off to pathology.
So this is the follow-up of the biopsy we had done. Pathology came back as a squamous cell cancer. You can still see that it's fairly erosive, and this is why this will need additional treatment. So this is essentially what we'll send for a modified Mohs surgery. So just take this down layer by layer until they're sure that everything is absolutely clear, and then this should resolve nicely. But the margins are good. You can see it's quite a bit less prominent than it was beforehand, so we should have a good result with this.